We are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. We're a family of five driven by purpose and fueled by love. We decided to trade in the traditional school life for a life where every day is an adventure of faith and love. From a small photography business grew a love of memory keeping and filmmaking that turned into a full blown dream of becoming a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. So we're learning to document our adventures in homeschool business and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. Friends, welcome back to our channel. It's Serena from the Falco family where we make education and lifestyle videos. And try out some new intros to see what sticks, friends. Anyway, good morning. I am a little bit behind in my day. Y'all know I'm trying to get my life together so um, that I can have a better routine for this new work at home, homeschool at home, stay at home, whatever you want to call it at home, um, homeschool mom situation. So, um, by the way, I have been loving you guys' comments lately and everybody who is reaching out to me after we published our first video for the year. Um, I've just really been enjoying connecting with you guys and that hasn't always been a thing in the past. Um, uh, so, but it's something that I really wanted to get more into this year and I have really been enjoying that. So for all of you who chimed in and left comments and sent emails and things like that, Thank you because I've been thoroughly enjoying um, catching up with my internet friends. Anyway, I'm supposed to be getting on this here bike this morning, uh, but because I slept so horribly last night, I probably will just get in a good, nice, good, like brisk morning walk and we'll see how that goes. Um, the kids have already started their devotion. They're already well into their AM work that they, you know, that we all decided upon for themselves. And that gives me a little bit of time to wash my face. My face is nice and freshly washed and get a tall glass of iced water because I love that. I love that in the morning. And uh, then get started with my day friends. I think today, I don't know, we're just gonna do normal, regular things that we always do. Um, this past weekend, your girl read three whole books, friends, and I'm just obsessed. I feel like I have my like reading stride back. So uh, we have been going through our all of our bookshelves to just kind of like categorize and think about um, different videos that we could make uh, talking about some of the books that we've read over the years. Um, so that's always fun for us, just kind of stacking up our books, going through our book stacks and um, just kind of talking about them with one another. So now I think it would be fun to just go ahead and stack up those books into different categories and see if we can film some videos for our friends. Today we're actually getting uh, lighting in our homeschool room space, which is really exciting. Uh, we got the recessed lighting in my room, which has been everything, okay? Cause y'all see this. <laughs> A couple of weeks ago, it looked nothing like this in here. It was super dark because it is super dark in this room um, normally. But uh, we're trying to go around and just kind of replace the lighting that will just kind of help us because we spend a lot of time in our home. And it's just really, really nice to have some bright, you know, daylight when it's not daylight uh, just to kind of give us a little extra push along the way. And yeah, let's see what we get into today. Also, y'all tell me if I'm the only one that does this, but I keep my books by my bedside, like the books that I'm trying to skim for the kids. I mean, I'm kind of sort of kidding myself because I'm a little bit past that stage where um, I get to read ahead of time the books that the kids are reading, um, but I really try. I try to do my best, okay? Um, so I generally end up just kind of skimming through the books and I'm normally looking for certain things just to see if I can like kind of chime in, ask questions, even though your girl necessarily didn't finish the book, but it's the way that I stay connected with my little reader kitty. So anyway, um, we have One Crazy Summer by Rita Williams Garcia that Savannah just finished. Um, I love the kids like 
uh, review of the books that they read because kids reviews are nothing like adult reviews they look for certain things they don't always have the words to express like how they wrapped up a book or how a book ended up wrapping itself around their little hearts and it's just so cute it's just so cute. So we've been talking about different ways that we could possibly um, share more of their wrap ups for books. Um, but one crazy summer Savannah just like really enjoyed and she really enjoyed like the different dialect. Um, they are from the south and she just really got a kick out of reading through their stories. So that was so cute. Um, but what she did not like was the time. So she, when she came to rate it, she really enjoyed the story, but she wished it wasn't during that time. But she was like, but if it wasn't during that time period, maybe they wouldn't talk like that. It was just so funny seeing her wrap her mind around how she felt about the book. So clearly she didn't like what was going on um, in history during these times, but she just loved the sisterhood and the familiness and the dialect and she just enjoyed it, which is so, so cute. Um, I said I was going to start sharing, you know, more of what they're reading, even though recommendations are really not my thing because it has everything to do with the individuality of our kids. And here I go talking about this again. This is why I couldn't just I can't just do regular videos and regular vlogs without considering them somewhat educational <laughs> because that's all I end up talking about. That's all your girl wants to talk about. I don't want to talk about face wash. I don't want to talk about anything. <laughs> I don't want to talk about anything but educational things, reading, writing, math, all of that stuff. Anyway, um, I'm also reading through The Magical Imperfect by Chris Barron. Listen, books, novels that are written by men are hard to come by, like contemporary, you know, life type of stories. They're hard to come by, so we always love them when we see them. But anyway, um, so I'm reading through The Magical Imperfect. Also, I'm trying to skim through The Maps of Memory, which this is not the right book it's the first book that i meant to grab to um uh browse through last night before i fell asleep anyway so that's what's by my bedside table anyway i'm stalling because i really need to just put my watch on and get this workout in so i'll be back what is that Ladybug. Hi. Uh, so you are filling out a research notes? Um, um, this is my book, The Story of Ruth Battle Ginsburg. <laughs> this is what I'm reading. I am... This is her non-fiction read I have for this week. Questions. You have questions? <laughs> what did I say? I am saying, um... How old did she get to be? I have that. Are her kids known all around too? That's it. <laughs> it just looks like a lot because it's covering a lot of this space. We are planning out what we are going to do for our printables in the coming weeks. And we are getting ready to listen to Green Glass House. I am finishing up my lunch right now. I am also looking for a desk for the kids. I think our circle table has seen its days and needs to be replaced um and i have this wall here that um i think can stand to handle like three 30 inch wide desk side by side but i need something that's small simple and that has a little bit of a desk to it then i was thinking about doing um the pegboards the same ones that we use for cameron's um maker space in his room I was thinking about putting those pegboards above their desk here and that would give them a lot more storage space. Something that we can put above here. I do need to go through like these drawers and those little cubbies over there because they've gotten quite messy and the kids are here. Everybody is finishing up quiet writing time. We have like a 20 minute quiet writing time that they're working on finishing up. And then they're gonna move on to lunch. I do also need to get something to hold all of our tea bags. I had to give them a little bit of a limit for their quiet writing time so that we could make our way through some of the other things that we have kind of 
decided to work on throughout the days. And then they can pick back up later on in the day with more of their writing. I did want to give you guys some last glimpses into our kitchen. We're going to be getting the kitchen redone in the next month or so. And to say that I'm excited, it's an understatement. <laughs> This dungeness of a kitchen has served us for some years now and I'm so grateful, but oh my god. I gosh. am too. Yes, right? It still <laughs> serves us well. It does, it serves us well, but I'm so excited to have like something brighter and something a bit more functional. I'm super excited about that. I told you guys that we had our electric panel replaced, but the electrician is coming back today to install some recess lighting and I know it probably doesn't seem like it because cameras are like everything and often make this room look nice and bright but it is really really not and when the winter days come along it gets really challenging so makeshift office space <laughs> I've been um, trying to spend a little bit of time just kind of figuring out what I can do out here to kind of just give me room to come out and like use as much of my brain space as possible so um, I kind of have tiny plans for making it a really like swanky vibe <laughs> for me um as i make this transition in life right now um, but for right now we just went ahead i know the lighting is really bad but i've got my ipad i've got my stand i've got my little mic when i need it i got my calendar right here a little um cork board my planner right here my water my journal i even bought my plant from inside because i I told you guys I'm trying to move some stuff around um, there and just kind of see if um, I can make our spaces a bit more functional. So with that, since y'all know this is a whole garage, like we're doing like garage office chic out here. Um, and the other side looks a little something like the dungeon. That's the thing about making videos in general you have to be so careful because what you can see in this little rectangle is not always what it is so the next time that you are um, tempted to compare yourself um, to somebody you see on this little screen just remember that this is the side that they are showing you or choosing to show you and this it's the side that's almost always there. I'm feeling incredibly inspired right now to sit down and write because my kids, they just inspire me so much. I mean, their reading life has inspired me and because of them, I read more. And now because of them, I am writing more. Yes, it started with my suggestions, but they just take it to a whole different level. And uh, it's been really encouraging to me because sometimes I just get so frustrated um, with my goals because I'm one of those people that likes to sit down and complete projects. Um, but that's just not how life is working out for me at least. Um, and so just seeing them take little bits of time here and there to make progress and work towards their goals is just so simple and so inspiring. So I'm doing the same thing and I'm just going to be out here um, and give myself little pockets of time to write um, because a lot of my time is spent in between working and then switching to do homeschool and life things and uh, I still want to get in that writing time so today I just been thinking a lot about purpose for this new year y'all know that we are purpose driven homeschool family and um I've just been thinking a lot lately about how that's just always been the case for us being purpose-driven. So I just 
I guess going into this year, I just don't feel like that needs to be my main focus because that's just a given, that's a thing for us. Um, but rather I came across this talk, I think, I'm pretty sure it was a TED talk talking about um, choosing not to, um, to uh, seek purpose. Uh, for your life but rather wellness and that talk was just everything for me in this space right now um, because I feel like wellness is really something that I just really need to meditate on and um, just ask those questions and wonder about and allow my curiosity to really look for those answers concerning what it means to be well you know what I mean um well as a mom as a wife as a sister as a friend there's just so much stuff going on especially in the last uh few years that I think we just really for me I really just need to take time and process and and work through and work out um to make sure that my focus always remains you know pure um, and I have the, my priorities where I would want them to be. So, um, I'm not going to ramble on. And y'all know I could do that. But this yellow light needs to go, friend. So, <laughs> it's definitely something I need to fix out here. But for now, you're going to get this yellow essence, okay? Um, so, I'm just going to be out in my space writing a little bit before I switch over to finishing off our day you know the drill so I hope you enjoyed like just kind of tagging along with us today um as your girl is over here uh exploring wellness in life for me right now uh do you guys have an intention have you set like an intention or any goals or anything like that for this new year um Hopefully, I kind of let you in on a little bit of what my train of thought is for this year in finding wellness. And I also just wanted to say, I said this earlier on this morning, but for real, y'all are just, I love y'all. <laughs> because I'm not one to really hold on to people in the comments or followers or subscribers or whatever you want to call them because I just really do believe that if you live by people's um, comments and nice words that you can also die by people's negative um, words and things and opinions and things that they have to say. So I've always been really, really careful about how I manage and or handle comments and things and I never want to let that be the reason why I keep going. Um, but <laughs> I will say that uh, maybe I, I don't know, just, I don't know y'all's comments lately have been just hidden a bit different and it reminded me of everybody's comments all these years that have been so incredibly encouraging and kind and just wonderful. And I just want to let you know that while you're not solely the reason why I keep going, <laughs> because we are purpose driven and I go where my father tells me to go and my heart is to go where the Lord leads us. Um, so while it is not my sole reason in continuing to move along, you guys have been so incredibly encouraging as I have moved along in this journey of living and learning together and sharing all out in these internet streets. So I'm excited uh, to be able to continue to talk to you guys and to ask you to chime in and really just help us figure out like where do we go, where do we put things um, because yeah i i've just i think the last years we'd spent a lot of time building up things that felt so good and were so exciting and then we just had to scale them back just to make sure that these were the right things to do at the right time and i don't know if this is going to make any sense to anybody but i am a really big believer about that um, just really putting your hands to things and using your gifts, but making sure that your priorities are straight and that your heart is in the right place and that it's the right time um, for things. And I think that's a, a lot of 
what you maybe have um, gathered as frustrations along the way because there's things that we've wanted to do as a family as in homeschool life and all those things and you've seen how those didn't really unfold quite the way that I got really excited and whatever um, about but that's okay because I believe that there is a right time um, for things in a right way for things uh, to roll out when you are operating in purpose in life. So I just wanted to say thank you because I've enjoyed your comments and they've been so life bringing um, to me and it makes me really hopeful for just kind of doing this together with you guys moving forward. So y'all know I can sit here and ramble on forever in a decade, but we're not going to do that because we're going to write tonight. <laughs> I'm going to get out more of my thoughts about um, wellness and our intent for exploring more about that this year um, but yeah I'm gonna sign out for my little yellow essence or <laughs> filled garage office makeshift space situation and I guess I'll see you guys in the next video so life is so very full of lessons and our goal as always is to live and to learn so I'll see you in the next one Bye. Don't, Don't forget, forget to subscribe! subscribe.